bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a special video with uh, a good friend of mine actually, Immortal Faith. Hey Faith, how's it going? Hey man, how are you doing? Awesome, awesome, and I'll tell you why I'm doing awesome, because Grimstroke is ridiculous. Um, hmm. So we're going to be discussing, uh, in this particular video, we're going to be discussing Grimstroke and some of the cool new stuff that uh, Immortal Faith is going to be doing, and I'm going to be jumping in on as well. Um, so, so, uh, but let's, let's jump into, uh, to, to Grimstroke. Um, uh, so Faith, I, I, I'm, I, I'm getting the vibe here. There's a lot of complaints in the higher skill levels about Grimstroke. Is that correct? Yes. You could see all the pro players or at least most of them uh, actually complaining on Twitter or even just friends of mine that are in top 100 or top 200. All of them, when I'm talking with them about certain things, they are complaining about Grimstroke. Yeah. Like, especially about Inkswell, right? So yes, this it's, it's is a cute. spell. Ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no, no. Actually, Ink Inkswell is his E. Oh, you know? sorry. Yeah, yeah. The third skill. <laughs> Which is also ridiculous. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no. I mean, that one is actually even more ridiculous. It's max damage 220 at level 1. And <laughs> it can you can be stunned for uh, over 2 seconds, you know? And then it's also AoE. AoE, yeah. And it also deals, like, I don't know, man. It's absolutely ridiculous a level... One spell can be that strong, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then, not even to mention his Q, you know, like he his Q can deal so much damage. It has such a big range. I don't know, man. I, I, it's I, like I find it absurd. I find it so absurd. much better power shot. Like, yeah, it actually goes the other way around. Like more damage after each target, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and the range as well is. I mean, you can yeah. nuke you can nuke people from afar as they're running away, and if you get it right, you can take someone down. It's uh, I find it absurd. So, all right, cool. So, well, I tell you what. Then, seeing as we're as we're as we're going through the ability, so so uh, I I've my observation so far, uh, and they're not going to be as as in depth as yours, obviously. Is uh, is is stroke of fate? So his Q. Um, oh, in fact, actually, let's step back a little bit. I find Grimstroke's laning phase a little bit ridiculous. Like he just seems so strong in lane. Would you would you agree with that? I think he's actually the strongest hero in Dota laning wise right now. Him and uh, probably Raking. Raking. If you actually combine them together in the same lane, yeah, I think this is the strongest lane in Dota right now. Everybody, you've seen that. You've heard it here first. A good boy guides the forbidden combo. Wraith King. Wraith King plus Grimstroke equals guaranteed lane dominance and win. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, so uh, so that's so there. That's a forbidden combo. That that's silly. So Stroke of Fate it, it uh, is an AOE that deals a tremendous level of damage and does additional damage based on how many other uh, creeps are there. Uh, so pace of Earth brush damaging and slowing enemies. Damage is increased with each enemy the ink hits. So, uh, but it is it is a sort of a line target, isn't it? As opposed to like a, yes. a cast area. So it's slightly yeah, different. Just look a little bit at, at the cooldown. The cooldown, man. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh level gosh. four, he has a five seconds cooldown. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, so the cooldown is absurd for just Stroke of Fate. That's, you know, fairly obvious. Um, I just thought the damage was silly as well. But but yeah, okay, fine. Let's move on to Phantoms Embrace. So this is the, uh, you summon a Phantom, it silences the target instantly, and then mm -hmm. they've got to destroy it uh, in order to break the silence. And if they don't, and it returns, then you get it refreshes the cooldown immediately. I mean, so. it also runs damage. Oh, yeah, and of course, yeah, 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 absolutely. Damage per second, so 12 to 30 seconds damage per second. Um, so, so that's also pretty silly actually as well that's it this is he dishes out so many, he casts all three of his stuff he can hit you with ink swell followed while the phantoms and braces on followed by uh stroke of fate so q e and w or whatever way around you want to do it that's just insane levels of magic damage that's 400 plus 360 plus uh it doesn't tell me the maximum for the other one uh four 450 um that's 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 like I mean, you can easily get to 800, 1000 damage between this, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. but you keep in mind, you need to have them maxed. Usually you will deal 500, 600 damage early on, already at level 7, you know? That's silly. I think uh, that amount of damage, you know, with also low cooldowns and an ability that silences that is able to refresh, you know? Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Yes, I, I'm. I'm definitely and also seeing that. 
Uh, also, I recommend building Garden of Shadows, which also deals extra damage. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So your your damage overall increases, hero. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. So we talked about Ink Swell a little bit. So I'm just I'm just on that now. You get a movement speed bonus. It disarms you, so you can't attack, but also people can't attack you. Uh, and then and then after the uh, the the it also silences you like it, oh yeah so yeah it silences it's actually silence, silence you yeah. yeah so it silences you as well but it, it's kind of a saving spell isn't it you can sa save your ally yeah and then um, they don't die and then suddenly everybody around them gets disabled <laughs> yeah. and damaged <laughs> it's just it's just absurd it, it, it makes Winter hmm. Wyvern's cold embrace look like like a, a joke compared to this this ridiculous skill. Um, and hmm. then, uh, let's have a look. Uh, so, yeah, so three second buff duration, uh, cooldown goes to 15 seconds, uh, at max level. And you, and you think this is probably the most overpowered ability for the hero? Mm, I think Garleon, yes. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, fine. And then let's finally move on to soul. Level oh, yeah, one, sorry. Like, I, I, I'm just thinking, level one, there is no other ability in Dota that does this much. No other ability in Dota. Okay. Yeah. So you're getting a, a save, you're getting AoE damage, you're getting AoE stun. Um, yeah, you are also getting... Uh, movement speed. Uh, move speed bonus to actually yeah. catch up to them or to run away from targets yeah. in case, you know? Yeah. It's, I don't know. Yeah, absurd, absurd. Okay, fine. Okay, so things well. And then finally, Soulbind. I also found Soulbind pretty ridiculous as well. What do you make of that? <laughs> I mean, it's actually really fun. There are so many fun interactions and so strong and so many strong interactions as well. Yeah, examples. Like, think a little bit. You can even build the uh, Grimstroke like a uh, semi carry, you know, building items like what? Building items like uh, Dagon, building yeah. items like uh, Sight of Vice. Yeah. You basically can disable or damage two people during your uh, ultimate Soulbind, you know? Yeah. And it's not only you, it's also your teammates. Imagine you have the raking. Uh, I mentioned in your team, right? Yeah. He's going to stun two targets during the Soulbind if uh, they are going to be latched together. Yeah. Or if you have a Pugna, he's going to, I don't know, he's going to drain life from two targets. Yeah. Yeah. And in a team fight, you, if you can Soulbind the, the hard carry to whoever you like, ideally the, another carry, your, your mid or, or mid carry or whatever, and then suddenly you've, 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 and then with like AoE damage. It's so like you soul band and then so I don't know, Tide Hunter rock, rocks in and does a massive stun or whatever. Or AoE damage, whatever. I mean, that's a huge level of abuse that you, you can inflict, isn't it? Yeah, and they cannot run away, you know, because of the because of the latch. Yeah. So they will always stay together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's very easy for your team to actually focus down uh, to yeah. targets just it, because of that. Exactly. Because the, they actually cannot run away. Yeah. <laughs> well, at level, at le at max level, level, level 18... Uh, it's forty five percent movement slow. I mean, that's that's absurd. That's absolutely mm. absurd. All mm. right, cool. So so he's so he's pretty absurd. Now you've mentioned so we'll, we'll move. So those are the abilities. We'll move on to like the the tactics, as it were. So in the laning phase, uh, you mentioned that he him and Wraith King in the same lane are just the most broken, overpowered combo ever. So let's let's look at let's expand on that a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty simple. The way I would play this lane, it's actually super simple. The way I see it, it's like this. You start with your uh, second skill. Okay, let's say you are level 3. Or if yeah. you want, we can also say you are level 1. Okay, I if you're actually level 1, you get your Ink Swell. Yeah. You use your Ink Swell. Uh, breaking immediately follows up with a stun. Yeah. And then this combo, you know. Double stun combo, maybe, yeah. You dealing damage with Ink Swell and then breaking hitting and you hitting after uh, he's getting stunned by your Ink Swell. Yeah. It actually deals more than 400 or 500 damage <laughs> depending on the enemy move speed uh, he might uh, be able to escape if he has an escape or if he has like boots like level one or something but that's yeah. not really gonna happen yeah you know if the enemy is out of position he most likely will die on us yeah it's a little bit uh, broken yeah yeah okay yeah yeah that, that uh that does seem logical so yeah, so yeah, huge matters. Now, one of the things I did notice with Grimstroke is he does seem to have a little bit of mana issues because a lot of his spells are quite expensive. So for example, uh, the first Q, his Q, Stroke of Fate, is 100 mana at level 1. Phantom's Embrace is 110 mana at level 1. And Inkswell mm. is, is 90 mana at level 1, so it's slightly cheaper, but these are all quite mana 
if you do sort of one after the other, you're going to burn your entire mana pool in in. I mean, in three you spells. know what item is really good for mana issues? I'm guessing you're going to say clarity. Clarity. Yeah, clarity. <laughs> yeah. And also, this hero likes to buy um, a magic stick early on, you know, yeah. because he likes to fight a lot. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So you yeah. are you are going to get uh, magic sticks out of your combats. Yeah. That that's going to help with your mana issues. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, roaming support. You can play him very comfortably as a roaming support, can't you? Yeah. Would you say that's you the can main... Play him as, with main I way think you, you can him. play him both as uh, roaming support or even lane support. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's actually really good at both of these uh, things. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I just think he's silly. He's just absolutely yeah. silly. So, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then let's talk about mid and late game. You know, what's he sort of doing? Oh, well, let's, let's not jump too far ahead. Let's talk about mid game. So you've had a good laning phase. You know, you secured yourself several kills. You've bullied the off laner or, or safe laner, depending on who it is. Where are we at now? What's he doing next? And what, what what is the next thing about him that makes him just silly? He likes to fight. He is probably the strongest uh, team fighter uh, support wise you know mm -hmm. after the laning stage because he usually keep in mind i said usually gets a lot he gets like uh, either an arcane boots or a tranquil boots a magic wand and an urn by minute 10 15 usually right yeah he just likes to fight after that you deal so much damage you have your first skill maxed you know and yeah. then you just dish out so much damage by fighting yeah he doesn't like to farm he doesn't like to i don't know you know, AFK kind of. He yeah. just likes to fight. Yeah. Wherever you can find uh, good fights for you and for your team, yeah. you want to be there as a Grimstock. You you don't want to play passive. Yeah. You just want to go ham with the fights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then late game, because he's the kind of hero that should normally sort of scale off a little bit late game. Or would you say that was not really the case? Not really. Actually, no. For a support, actually, he scales quite well in the late game. It's just here I need to mention it. It's a lot about your positioning. Yeah. You need to be careful about your positioning yeah. in the late game. Absolutely. If you are actually going to position yourself in a good way and you are going to survive the initial, uh, I don't know, burst of the enemies, or if you are not going to get caught, yeah. you are going to have a huge impact uh, during uh, the late game team fight wise. Yeah. 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 Okay, fine. And I suppose, I, I suppose Soulbind, for example. So, um, you know. Is it does a hell of a lot, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, obviously you got your BKB issue. It doesn't it doesn't pierce spell immunity, but at the same time, you know, obviously as soon as BKB is off or whatever, and or a team fight's happening before BKBs are activated, and then suddenly Soulbind kicks in, you're doing tremendous levels of damage. So I suppose that's that's relevant right into the late game, isn't it? Yeah, that is correct. Like. The thing is like this, in the late game, usually the BKBs are going to be quite low, right? They are not going to still be 10 seconds, you know? Mm -hmm. So Soulbind is going to be very strong. And keep in mind, Soulbind, max level is actually 8 seconds. 8 seconds. Yeah. And I'm just sorry, I've made a mistake in the video. It does actually appear spell immunity. Apologies. So, uh, so yeah, partially it will Yeah, I mean, Soulbind goes through... Through, through magic immunity, but it actually doesn't pierce. For example, if you use it on a target, right? Yeah. It actually pierces it, but for example, if uh, the other uh, guy that uh, is latched, you know, mm. the teammate that is coming close to him is going to use BKB, he can actually run away from it, you know? Yeah, right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, awesome. So, I, I think, I think, so this is just a, a quick overview on, on why. Grimstroke is completely overpowered. Uh, any final bits of advice, uh, uh, Faith? I think this is uh, probably one of the best heroes to grind right now with. Yeah. First pick it. You have actually nothing to lose by doing so. You can play it position 5, position 4. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes you can even play it position 3 and 2. Yeah. I would recommend though, playing him as a support because, uh, you know, yeah. like you will have enough impact as a support anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, just play the hero because it's so damn strong. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. Completely uh, insane. Uh, any heroes to be worried about, actually? Because we, we know how strong he is. Any 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 heroes we should be worried about when playing Grimstroke? You're like, oh, actually, I'm mm, having a tough time with him. I, I actually don't like to play Grimstroke against uh, Pugna, first of all. Okay. 
And then I, I don't like playing Grimthrok against uh, Silencer. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It was totally spell dependent, so that would be two logical yeah. things. Yeah, so it's a silence. And then Pugna, Pugna not so much, doesn't make so much sense. He, I mean, Pugna dishes out a huge amount. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. His Nether Ward, isn't it? Uh, is that why? The Nether Ward? Not only his Nether Ward, but Pugna can actually target you very easily with a lot of magic and burst you. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, I mean, you you can also silence him, so it, it can actually go either way, you know? Yeah. But still, but uh, it, it's just you. like more of a personal preference, you know, from sure. my uh, Grimstroke he, he history games, you know, like yeah, yeah. I didn't have much success against the Pagna. Sure, sure. Okay. Because of the Nether Ward making me, you know, Think making twice. me yeah. put myself in a weird position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, a very counterintuitive. I am very, very strong. All right, cool, awesome. All right, everybody. Well, there you go. That is, that is uh, from Immortal Faith himself. Uh, why, why Grimstroke is broken right now? Totally overpowered and broken. And some free MMR if you are so inclined. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. And uh, Immortal Faith, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. See you. Goodbye.